three, two, one. Well, uh, just wanted to show you the West Africa pack for Native Instruments Contact. Truly fantastic pack for tribal percussion. So, uh, just wanted to show you it in Cubase. It's not immediately obvious how to set it up. So, I'm going to run through some. It's going to be quite lengthy and detailed. So, let's get going. So I want to set this up as a multi-output, so I need to use the VST rack. Contact 5. Create the MIDI track. Let's choose uh, this one. Let's get a beat to add it to. Duplicate. Now listen. Not good. Need to make the host trigger, synchronize, and we can play with it using the variation knob. So now listen. sound was coming out of just one stereo channel now I want it coming out of a few so I can grab the audio from it in a bit so set up the mixer main one two three four five and six let's just get the VST rack up there we go and you have to click on these little stereo instances This is the fiddly bit, but I'm just going to show you how to set it all up using another instance of contact. Let me just get rid of that, put that over there. So you'll see all the stereo instances playing. Fantastic. I want to grab some audio, bounce. There's my VST instrument there, and let's go. get rid of contact, deactivate the instrument there for a time being, you'll see the audio down below. So how do we configure it? Let me show you. Let's go, I'm going to use contact 4, I want multi outs, so I'm going to use the instrument rack create now chances are that it'll open just like this and this is where we have to do most of the work and it's very fiddly so it's really a case of open the output clicking on this button at the top and see it flashing add channels the number you you want I'm going to use 8, save it as a default for time being. Okay. I'm going to tell it where to send them, the outputs. It's going to be fiddly, so watch it. You need to be patient, and I've got to admit, it's not exactly very clear to see. Seven, eight, and second, nearly there. I'll just scroll down this touch. Okay, okay, okay. Now, so you don't lose it, save it. You can save it for all formats. You can even make a preset if you wish. I'm going to save it for all formats. Now, over here, if you click on this little grey arrow, it should be available all these stereo outputs and you need to activate them. One, two, three, and so on and so forth. So that means any multi-instrument will 
and now have a output audio channel fantastic what's confusing sometimes is it's probably best when you're making changes to your output mixer in contact is to reload the instrument um, I think it even prompts you at uh, times so let's have a look so we've got all our audio outputs there we can use it as a normal mixer and do as we wish but you need to activate all the outputs in Cubase VST instrument rack just to make it work so I'm going to just quickly show you so let's get the VST instrument rack for contact 5 and once it's set up it's set up for good there you go make the host and sync set up the mixer so one two three and however many more you want press go pull up a beat 